One of Goa's most popular birding events is a boat trip along the Zuari River, organised by Mr B. M. Kamat. The trip starts from Kortalim Jetty, under the Zuari Bridge, where Mr Kamat will meet you at about 8am and will escort you to his 15-seater boat. You have to be very careful on the jetty while getting onto the boat, as seaweeds are growing on the concrete floor and it is very easy to slip. This trip is part of the itinerary of any birding tour operator in Goa and is also very popular among independent birders. Mr Kamat will first take the boat west below the Zuari Bridge towards the mouth of the Zuari River where you can see gulls and terns sitting on poles and if the tide is low, especially early in the season in October and November when migration is still on, you can see different kinds of waders on the mudflats. Greater and lesser sand plovers, terex sandpipers and curlews can be seen well into the winter, but other birds like curlew sandpipers are truly migrants and will only be encountered early in the season. The boat then turns east and goes back into the river. Crossing under the bridge in the right season at low tide, you may see fishermen fishing for shellfish in an old traditional way. The Zuari is a tidal river and being 92 kilometres long, it is the longest river in Goa. Like other rivers that flow from the Western Ghats to the Arabian Sea, it forms an estuarine system where at low tide fresh water from the river flows downstream and at high tide salty water from the sea flows upstream. This saline water supports mangrove trees that grow on the riverside. According to Kamat, there are about 15 kinds of Evesinia mangroves growing on the riverside and its creeks and these are home to many different kinds of birds. Some, like Indian Golden Oriole and Blythe's Reed Warblers, are common forest birds and can be seen anywhere. Others, like Clamorous Reed Warbler and Little Heron, are more mangrove specialists. And although they can be seen in other habitats, here is where they are most likely to be found. In this part of the river, you may find black-capped kingfisher, this bird has disappeared from all known sites north of the Mandovi River and here is the best place to see it. With a boat it is easy to get very close to perching birds and get great photos but using a video camera on a tripod is less effective as the boat constantly moves. Boat trips with Kamat became very popular among visiting birders from overseas not only because of the birds seen, but also, since this trip is very pleasant, their wives and other non-birders are happy to join. The boat soon enters the Kumbarjwa Canal. This 13 kilometer long watercourse connects the Zuari River with the Mandovi River. This watercourse is very old, but 150 years ago it was widened and deepened by the Portuguese to make it navigable. Keep your eyes on the sky. You may encounter some raptors like white-bellied sea eagles, marsh harriers, or even a greater spotted eagle in the air. And with a little luck, you may see an osprey perching on a pole, eating a fish that he has just caught. The boat follows the canal for a while and then enters into one of the many creeks. These creeks are narrow and covered with old mangrove trees. There is a great difference in navigating the boat in these creeks between high and low tide. This area is the home of the collared kingfisher, which nests in holes in the trunks of the big mangrove trees. Six members of the kingfisher family are usually seen on this trip. Other than the black-capped, there are the common kingfishers that can be seen all over Goa, the white-throated, the pied and stork-billed kingfishers. The collared kingfisher is the rarest kingfisher in Goa 
and it is a true mangrove species. Kamat has identified 14 breeding pairs in this area. He listens to their call and soon finds a bird for the excited birders, and for most, this is the most special bird they have come to see. This kind of kingfisher is very common in Southeast Asia and occurs all the way to the Red Sea. However, the subspecies Vidali, that lives on the west coast of India, is rare and may be elevated to a full species in the future. Crab fishing is widely practiced in this area. The fishermen look completely at ease with the many crocodiles that bask in the sun very nearby. They are said to have been brought here during the time when Muslims controlled this area to protect the canal. Marsh crocodiles are common in India and have probably always been here naturally. They eat fish and are completely harmless to people. The boat is then navigated slowly through the mangrove forest back to the Kumbarjua Canal, where it gains speed again. Before going back to Kortalim Jetty, Kamat takes the boat back to Zwari Bridge to look for a peregrine falcon that roosts there. Earlier in the morning, this falcon is hunting, and now it is easier to locate him. From here it is a short way back to the jetty, which by this hour has become busy with ferries and fishing boats, where this three-hour trip comes to its end.